Take my Bitcoins! Do we have a caller for the next thing, which I believe is Stairway to Bitcoin? Yeah! All right. Nope. nope. All right. Oh, nope. Nope. I was told no. <laughs> I didn't lie. Take that. Take that. There you go. Okay, we could do these on iPads. We were talking about it, but it seems more cool to have the cards, right? Yes, this is very yeah. Gene Rayburn. Yeah, exactly. We need the mic. That's the one thing we need. All right, Stairway to Bitcoin, who is calling in? We're getting Rickrolled again? We got Rickrolled last week, and we're getting Rickrolled again. Here you play, here you play. But the dude's playing for three hundred twenty-three dollars. But instead, that's he's going for the joke. He doesn't care about the money. <laughs> yeah, he should go to Fringe. You gotta go to Edinburgh. All right, let's try to. <laughs> yeah, all right. We hang up on him. Bring in another caller, Adam. You, now Adam's like funny, but now Adam's got to deal with trying hey, to find a new caller. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if you open up your Bitcoin wallet and there was Rick Roll? Rick Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody took all your Bitcoins and. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we talked about we talked about everything you're doing. We you, we we talked about too much too quick. We talked about a but lot. But now I saw uh, Kelly Carlin's show. Yes, you Kelly directed. Carlin's show. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be okay. running again in okay, uh, in Los Angeles in January. It's called Carlin Home Companion, starring uh, and written by Kelly Carlin, uh, and it's all about her experience growing up with her dad. Yeah. George Carlin, yeah, and uh, uh, that was a great experience working with her. It was very because George Carlin is an idol of mine, yeah. and um, I was fortunate enough to get to know him a little bit several years before he he died. And uh, I was about to say before he passed, but he would have kicked me in the ass if I yeah. said that. <laughs> uh, uh, before he kicked the bucket. Uh, um, but it's weird because she talks about an experience she had when her dad went to play Carnegie Hall in New York for the first time, and she was with him and backstage. Yeah. And she talks about this moment that happened for the both of them, and uh, I was in the audience at that show. Oh, wow. So it was really, really special to work with her on this yeah. because uh, my investment in this experience and hers are completely different. Right. But meaningful for both of us. Yeah. It was really great. It's a beautiful show. It's a great it's really show. Elaine took me there for my birthday. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah, a good birthday great. present. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very good birthday present. It's surprising, right? You don't uh, expect the show to be what it is. Oh, it's yeah. great. Yeah. It was really good. Yep. Really nice. Uh, and now we wonderful. have a caller. I'm getting a thumbs up. That means we have a caller. Caller, are you there? Uh, yes, I am. How's it going, Mike? Hey, who's this calling? Uh, this is Cody from Illinois. Cody, Cody from Illinois. Hey, right. <laughs> All right, Cody. You know how stairways played. I'm going to tell you anyway. True or false? Uh, you get one right, you move up the ladder. You get it wrong, you move down. You get three strikes, and you're all the way back down to .005 bitcoins. Are you ready to play? Uh, yes, I am. All right, here we go. First true or false. And by the way, these are all sort of stand-up comedian-based uh, true Comedy and false. Based. Comedy-based. Comedy-based. Got a little theme going on today. No bitcoin-based questions in here at all. No. Nope. And nope. people get mad we don't do bitcoin-based questions. Uh, but you know what? The show is about bringing the masses to bitcoins, not the bitcoin heads. What do they call What do they call fans of bitcoin? I'm looking at Dan. Bitheads. Bitheads. Trademark it. Bitheads. Mine. Bitheads.com. Bitheads. Sons of bits. Okay, uh, here we go. First one. Bitters. No, True that won't work at all. Or false. <laughs> bitters. No, those are comedians. Many of Aristophanes. <laughs> here we go. True or false. Many of Aristophanes' comedies are based on. I'm going to say this wrong again. Satyr. 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 What? You're Jewish. Satyr. I know, it's a Satyr. Satyr. All right, here we go. Ready? Everybody quiet so Cody can hear. <laughs> Many of Aristophanes' comedies are based on satyr plays, the main character of which is a goat man with a giant erect penis. True or false? Uh, I'm going to go with Sprue. That is true. Yeah. I just feel like that would be a great moment for a Rickroll. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You ready? Uh, you can go to your camera. Go. You can reach your camera. Oh. There you go. Three months after his death, Charlie Chaplin's body was kidnapped and held for ransom. True or false? Hmm. I'm going to go with true. Correct. That is true. You are now at .07 bitcoins. That is about $48 or so. Do you want to keep going? You got no strikes. Interestingly enough, that's exactly how much they got for Charlie Chaplin's body. <laughs> that's <laughs> 48, 43. Amazing coincidence. Back then, it was not in bitcoins. No. It was in? Uh, yeah. Shekels. Shekels. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. I had nothing. I had nothing. I'm like, oh. I started the joke and I stopped myself. I don't have anything for this. All right. Um, so you want to keep going? 
Uh, yes, I do. Great. Here we go. Next question. True or false? A young Mel Brooks was a rabbi for two years, but left to go into stand-up because his sermons were so funny. True or false? <laughs> Um, I am going to go with false. That is false. I like when the contestant laughs. It means we did something right. <laughs> that's something. what he's supposed to he's supposed to listen to. He's supposed to. That's what you want. You want. You want laughs. Okay. I do. This one's gonna kill this question. All right. True or false? Andy Kaufman made a stand-up debut on The Gong Show. Ooh, I think I've heard that before. I'm gonna go with true. I'm afraid it's false. Oh, I think I think Andy would have been in his 30s by that point. Right? I have no idea. The Gong Show 70s. Yeah. All right, it's all right. You are at 0 .075 bitcoins. That's 48.43. You got one strike against you. You want to keep going? Oh uh, yeah, let's keep going. All right, he's going for it all. It sounds like. How yeah, care? he wants to see the game right. move. Here we go. Next one. Bill Hicks used to hide in plain sight at fundraisers and charity events by showing up in full clown makeup as a character named Pogo the Clown. True or false? <laughs> um, I am going to go with false. That is false. It was actually John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> <laughs> Not so funny. He was a. I, he was. A, his stand up was hilarious. I enjoyed his. I enjoyed his earlier, funnier bits. His stand up was mostly for kids, but they loved it. <laughs> oh. Okay, true or false? In his twenties, George W. Bush was in fact a popular stand up at a comedy club around Dallas. Hmm. I. I really can. I'm gonna go with true. True. That is false. <laughs> he is funny, it but is not false. He's short... funny, but not yeah. so not ha ha funny. You are at point zero seven five Bitcoin. You're back down again. You're hanging. You're hovering at the seven five. The weird thing is, though, as you go down, the value of the bitcoins go up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> 48, 43, maybe 50. Who We're not knows? sure at this Could point. be 7 million. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> at this point. You have two strikes. Here's the deal. Now, go to red, Corey. Go to red. Give me some Give me some dramatic music. Oh. Oh. All right, so here's the deal. If you get this one wrong, you go all the way back down to point zero zero five, which is like 3 bucks. You're at 48 now. You could go up to $96 or point one one zero Bitcoin. Where do you want to do? You want to stop now or do you want to try to go? Uh, no, I'm here to have fun. Let's keep going. All right. Remember, if you get this one wrong, I believe this is yours. You're putting point all of it on it's the line. It's on you. Okay. The epitaph on Rodney Dangerfield's headstone is, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> True or false? <laughs> on on whose headstone? Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> uh, uh, it is true. Oh, you owe us bitcoins. All the way back down to point zero zero five. Sorry, but that's still something. Still, you know what? That could be worth millions one day. Yeah, not, probably not, not today. Though. Not no, today. Probably not gonna happen. All right, thanks for playing. Is it? Not quite. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> All you lost was a cup of coffee. Just come back. Come back next week. We'll get. We'll get you some bitcoins. All right, that was that was entertaining. That was entertaining right. for me. Ta-da.